Sit back, relax, and listen. Give yourself the opportunity to know the truth and nothing but the whole truth. We are tired of the lies. We are tired of the false preachers and teachers and fake crimes. Take back your religion and give us the truth. The truth as revealed by the Holy Tabernacle Ministry. We were once called Ansar Law Community and also Nubian Islamic Hebrews. But now our teacher has revealed himself as who he really is. An extraterrestrial from the 8th planet, Rit, Nubiru, in the 19th galaxy called Ilium. He has revealed secrets unknown before our time. The master teacher is revealing the secrets of the universe. He is making claims how the planets were formed and who gave birth to the sun, the original Elohim or Anunnaki, who they were, where they came from. Now the teacher of the Holy Tabernacle Ministry is taking his children to another level, a level that cannot be followed by safe teachers. No imam, no rabbis, no preachers, or no ministers will be able to follow him about the teachings of the universe. Upon arriving here secretly has been at the 1970s and the taking of the control of this body, of this individual that was 25 years old, not as much use of. I went, and it's visible, I went to State Street amongst the students and sat there and listened to their teachers, Hafiz Mahbu, a Pakistani, Hussein of Sudanese, Salahuddin, Palestine, Huh? I sat there in safety with them, gathered on Thursday night with them and listened. He said, no, there is no discipline here. This is a little bar pastor. This is a law of Akbar over the end of the law. These people didn't get no direction. Break it down, break it down. He's got a thing that he's ordered them, you know what they talk about. Break it down, break it down. Break it down, break it down. Or his students, he's trying to get somebody else to save their students, though. So I left there and I went on to the Morris Science Temple out there in Queens with a brother named Salah Dean, who's a rather Christian, Afghan, who very to be very confused. But he took me to the Morris Science Temple, he had his present on his and I sat amongst them. And I listened. I'm about to know who you are, he's a prophet. He wrote his own Quran, copied out of the Aquarius Gospel, and he's a brother. And I said, no. Nah, there's no discipline here. You can't do it here. Alright? So I left it. Started listening to and reading Muhammad's speech. Listening to tapes of uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And the nation of Islam. Wasn't a Pharisee. I didn't have no power back then. And then I get it. I roamed around the streets of the house. And I encountered a subculture of wannabe nation of Islam. But wanted to still use recent where they water and smoke and the hip hop was called five percent at the time. Now they call them God and God is in the city. We don't have to be it's really tough for anything. I listen to that rhetoric. There ain't no no shelter there. No shelter in the flower, there's no shelter for five percent. I went on to the Israelite, that's Shalom in Brooklyn. That's Israel in Brooklyn. And I went among them with the guy that on their shadow. We go in there. I bring a small pack of people with me, some still here today. And I start amongst them. I listen to their children or their rabbis, whatever name they want to use. And I saw them get drunk at a party and fucking and fighting each other at the party. One of the Israelite temples from Chicago came in and the Brooklyn community, they started dancing and grinding on each other's women. And I was sitting there. I said, no. This ain't the place to do it. The question is to do what? The care of a group of people. 144,000 of them. The care of the company. What color, man? Come on, tell them about it. We call it a rapper. We can call it a return. You don't know what to call it. Most of the so called black is like you do. I call himself Hebrew, so he talks to them, they're really Christian. Once on 40 seconds, he's just like the Isaac brothers, jump up and down, don't know, lift the Hebrew. He don't tell you all the barracks, 
a white coat, he's a big boy, 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 he's a big that you can hide off into the corner and move a certain amount of people to breathe. Things that as the scripture says about Noah to be perfect in their generation. Break that up. will not Break be it. touched by the what? By the heart. Where can you do that? So I looked and I said the only religion that has so many dumb restrictions on it so many unresearched facts. That were made to look like facts because nobody researched them is Islam. But you have to grab a specific. You have to be particular about how you use it. Now then how do I create a cult that would isolate itself from everybody? The Sunni will leave us alone. The nation of Islam will leave us alone. The Christian will leave us alone. And the Israelite people will leave us alone. I said, well, the first thing is the symbol should be different. So they make a six point in star and cut it in half. That'll do it. Call them the Nubian, Islamic, Hebrew. That'll do it. Now I repeat the word Nubian. I get the word Nubian born in America. Now I get the the word Nubian in America. Now I have a million groups, big groups, and companies do this. Now to get this known, get their attention on this. Joke is joke, that's it, that's it. So we moved on out to Coney Island. I thought that was far enough away in Brooklyn, and I stayed there with nobody to know where we were at. And we gathered there. And the people who had met on the way, the adults who had met on the way, in my research to find out where to do this here, where to set the thing closed on. Follow. And then I had Kabbalah Dean, who was half Hansar, half Morris Scientist, half Roger Putin, half Aspar, and anything else that Dean has on the method solar. He followed. Long came another guy, a little cuckoo, named Sadiq. He was an eject from the military. Once in Dallas Club, or maybe two hurt his feet, threw him out. Because of his laziness and chickiness, he came trotting on amongst us. Make sure I know this guy following me. Now you go on, you get a whole bunch of them. I have a whole band. And I started saying by looking at them, this group are faithful, but not true. They won't last. They'll serve the purpose, but they won't last. Now we have to breed out of these people, these children, to prepare for the rapture. I knew I had 30 years. You with me? From the year 1970, which is written to the year 2000, to get this job done. That means the children will be around 19 to 21. Follow that by now, by the year 2000, get the process to play. Who got the Coney Island as the people said, I can't support all these people, just teaching them. We had June, we had a little trinkets, little pedal on the street. We kept having running with the nation of Islam who couldn't withstand our teaching. Five percent of us couldn't take us. So many Muslims who couldn't deal with us. The Israelites who couldn't deal with us. Next thing you know, we became the hated group, which was appropriate for what I wanted. Why? Because then the people would stay away from us and call us crazy. We had big bones in our hair. We wore a long black robe with a big green. Six-pointed star dressing his uncle in front of our chest and black turtle or high black cartoon would combine everybody's little culture. We had African gatherings who wore African guard, they did not wear bells. We played drums to keep everybody happy because yeah, yeah, chicken and stuff, and music to keep black folks happy. Break it down, break it down. We gathered and then they asked questions, not answer questions, and start to build. And this thing grew. We were in Islamic Hebrew. We were called pure Sufi at first. Then we were just called Ansar. Then we became Ansar law. They got it back. Alright? So by now, the population that I was growing in Coney Island, 
People out there with a nature of Islam was intimidated by us. Soon after his time, the government had set up all these model city programs and four foundations funding people to drop out of school and sit in four different environments and pretend they educated black kids. Meanwhile, right. they got a lot of black kids doing the early 70s and quit their jobs and giving these model city programs. Remember this? And that means they had a set school of debate, the crazy 5% nation of Islam. Every time we were on our way up, we try to go make some money to feed these kids and bump into them. They raised out down trying to debate. Well, we bumped into the order, but everybody wanted to debate with us. And I had to step out front, clean that plow real quick, and step back in before I get too noticed. So I backed each one of them up by putting forth a question to them that their leader would know I'm not too impressed. Stupid joke, that's it, that's it. I bumped into the minister Firefarm way back then, he was downtown Brooklyn to get a lecture, and I was in the audience, and I said, well, if a lie is a man who came to the person in the ear, the arm, arm, you know, arm, arm, leg, leg, head, or A-L-L-A-A, no, that's the physical being only. There ain't no spooky, there's no spiritual, there's no divine mind, none of that stuff. Then what did I say? What was he standing on when he created the planet Earth? That question made them be, all right, leave them alone. When I dealt with the five or I said, well, if planet 13 X is a law, and was once in the nation of Islam, then the nation of Islam both is the Honorable Isaac Muhammad is the prophet. Correct? Then your Allah was a follower of a prophet, and that's backwards. Shouldn't it be the prophet is a follower of Allah? How did Prime 13 X become a law from following a man's messenger of the Honorable That's right, Isaac right now. So they say, oh, leave him alone. I bought the Israelites, I said, well, in the scripture, king, he said he's going to wipe the tribe of Israel out of his sight. I would say, what is out of the sight of God? Or Elohim, or Adonai, or Allah, or Yahweh. What is out of the sight of Allah? He sees all things. He's a spirit. What? Leave me alone. I went to the Mars Science Temple, and I said, excuse me. This is the Aquarian Gospel of Jesus, written by a man named Levi. Could you open your Koran and start reading it? That now there is a strange coincidence that this exact same verses in here that's in your Quran, and it was written before it. According to the Now you can say, well, they copied that. You can't even want, but it didn't help him, so he shouldn't have. Well, leave him alone. I went to the Yoruba Temple. Baba served him at the time. North Carolina community. It was our Manhattan house. Good, they had no drugs and stuff. And they talked about a rock called Shango with shells in his eyes. <laughs> I had to eliminate all this stuff from my people so I could get them Wake to go to the level. Wake us up. And I took off my ring with the six point star president up at the time and put it down and said, Say your God, you knew that. And he's all powerful. He comes with lightning, thunder, and this noise. He can hurt you. He won't hurt this ring. If you move the ring, I'll submit. I'll join you right now. Go ahead. Yeah, well, I don't do stuff like that. Yeah, well, I don't do stuff like that. Well, throw rain or throw stairs at people. What's it? Well, them throw the stairs at you. They ain't got to move. That was the end of the order. Right? The scene was set. As I was going through these different stages, I changed my name or every two years to keep the attention off me. And I said, oh, well, I'm Imam Isa. Well, I'm Dr. Imam Isa. Oh, I'm Isa Abdullah Muhammad. I'm Isa Abdullah Muhammad. Now, whatever you want me to be, just leave us alone. So I set the stage. None of the teachers want to come out of here. These guys ask those kinds of questions. They don't get, get up under the skin. And right now, I ask the question, what's the master for our blood type? And, you know, I say, that's my way of saying it. I got more questions than y'all going to leave alone. I got some more stuff that you about to keep throwing out there. Your congregation can go off where you got arrested, get access to a rest file, and you turn in, and then look on there and see what kind of blood type master for our mom had. Investigate that blood type and tell where the race comes from. And we're in that Arab stuff, we're in that uh, Persian, we're in that Syrian stuff. We find out exactly that guy who got arrested if you lost is from Oregon. Just leave it alone so I can keep going. But I'm leaving you alone. The last time I did a superimpose the basis for you to say stop playing with me because I'm not the joke. I'm not the joking one. I'm not the fake one. I'm not the dumb leaders of the five percenters out there that just are out there for the fun of it. I'm not, this is the job. I'm trying to pull into the job. This is the real thing. This is all that and a bag of potato chips. Come on, tell me that you said it. 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 You
checking up stages and popping yourself and looking like a star, but it's plastic, it ain't real. So you ain't teaching us, you ain't standing for, for the rapture. When that ship comes, there ain't no joke. I had to go off and find the dumbest environment to merge myself into with this congregation that I would have a shield against. And Islam was perfect for it. Because it had a following that run around cube-shaped buildings, they set in circles, kiss a black stone, wave another black stone, go over to a well, drink a glass of water from the well that Hagar and Ishmael was supposed to be in, leave there and run to a place where Hagar ran back and forth, come on off the side, spend the night on the mountaintop and tent, collect a certain amount of pebbles, go over to a space and do a round circle a little block mount and throw stones at it and call it the devil, and then move on from there and grab a goat and cut his throat. Then there and cut his throat and call it a sacrifice, and then cut a lock of your hair, each person is in Mecca, while you wear two sheets around you. You understand that? Then launch you back on home. And that ain't Buddhism, or some form of witchcraft, or some type of paganistic ritual of practice. I don't know what it is. But these people walk around as if they were right. And this very day, these fools, some Sufi Muslim, just the other day, as you heard, tried to kidnap the ex president of the United States, a Negro Sufi Muslim. Also, some Negro, when got nothing to do with them, them um, uh, Egyptian Arabs, Turkish, who call themselves Egyptian, over there, call themselves Muslim, were marching alongside this blind, demonic chef on his way. Wow, they're Americans. American citizens born here, got their families there, and this fool's trying to rob America where their families are at. And they see that as justified. He didn't know he was going to be in Egypt. They see what's going on in Egypt. You know what I'm He's like the Pope. The Pope travels around inside a big old glass tube now, waving his hand through a glass tube, and then declaring God is with him, for he is an intercessor of God on earth. But with this God, there is no protection from the stray bullet. When I see him about God and by a way to the man, I say, you are scared. That's your problem. You want to come out and stand in front of people because you are scared. Are you the same? You don't want to the people to shoot you. Well, if you believe in this spook God that has the power to contact with you, that he can save you, then the bullet would go anywhere but at you. But if some Turkish man, another stupid Muslim, was to step up and try to shoot the Pope, that was just a couple of years ago, and I tried to shoot the Pope, he did shoot the Pope. So it's one thing about the Muslims, their stupid killingness, sickness, and something about the Pope. You understand? You see five of them marching out a thousand bodyguards on, posting around him, Where's the protection, man? Don't tell me a lot of their protection when you walk around with 50,000 bodyguards marching all over the place. Teach that truth, brother. These are people who have faith in some power in the universe that is the protector for his opposite law. El Hafiz, the guardian, the guardian protection. So I found a very safe haven in the religion of Islam because it was so, the people are so stupid. They don't even see what they're doing. So I said, this is a place to me. So I took this Nubian culture out and started in Sudan, because with that alone, we can stay black. We can just about that we're black. And put up the symbol of the spirit, God, really? And the pressure of the Ansar of the Sudan. And it had black, red, and green, which, which was a line with Master Bobby had got from his uh, brother named Dr. Bill Ali, who was also an Ansar, who gave the red black and green flag of the Ansar, but took the country to stay off. And the Mahdi was flying in the 18th century, and, and he got over there in the early part of the 20th century, you know where Perfect flag. That's all I remember all the hours in front of the head, go like this. When a six point is on a person, just two complicated people come over there. What's that? <laughs> What's that mean? I mean, there's two ways for it. Don't let that simple. You can say, man, we're not the first person in Islam. The black man we did our course. You got it? Fine. So we put on bail. We took off of our 
आप अच्छी रखा है आप भारत का फोन ना दो And we started dressing in veils and clothing ourselves and had that cult type of look. Then we moved into Bushwick Avenue and settled in. And there I had an in-growth garden. We gained it all. The elder, the visitor, the chef, Daoud, Ahmed Faisal from Safety, the founder of Islam in America here, and the Islamic mission in America, recognized he used to come there religiously. And I used to do the same thing, he used to tell the students, that's the man y'all should be following, point at me. You know, they would go, no, she's a fucking easy farm out. He's a old capo, man, I'm a good girl. He's a fanatic, that bone is over, that bone is there, and a ring in his nose. I laughed, but I knew the day was gone. They didn't know what they were talking about. Where are they now? Where is Usher going to Philadelphia? Where is Yassine Mahal or Dara Islam in Brooklyn? Where is Uma Party in Washington? Where's the Hamas Watch, Mark in Washington? Where are the Osaka Center? Where are the true followers on the Black Muhammad? Where are the people that said that we were merely a schism and we would pass or fade away? Where are they now? They approached us on the street and threatened us. Then they beat us up as we continue to propagate, get off our block, out of our neighborhood. And my five brothers would come back and say, what do we do? I say, move out the way. Because time is on our side. Because they teach in their Bible, the Quran, truth will last or prevail, and all things will perish or fail. So if that is a fact, then just be the last attribute of their God, us, the Lord, patient. And we were. And here we are. They were thriving and they're gone. We go back to the front, bro. So the temperature was right. The atmosphere was right. It was crazy. People stayed away from us. They were crazy. And saw that schism. They worshiped their teacher. He's God to them. They were like, like they wasn't worshiping the Muhammad, but that was okay. And long being black is cool. <laughs> so, I started raising kids. Kids started being born. In a circle, we had a family, we gathered, we prayed together, we visited all night. I said, Islam is an appropriate place to hide, because I knew this was not the information, but to be fair, and to never be able to be called a liar, I said up front, listen, I came, giving you what you want, so that That's you right. can learn. That's right, that's right, right now, brother. You have to get it. I said that all and over again. All through the years, I looked at that congregation in Brooklyn, and I did a quick one Friday, and I said, y'all are faithful, but y'all are not true. You will not last. Very few of y'all. I said, many are called, and few are chosen. Most of y'all will be out with me, slamming me, and doing everything that the disciples of Jesus did. You understand that? I told them, one day y'all will be out of these bells. I only, I only have these bells for my own reason. Be patient. Right? I said, one day we will move out of this city and we'll move into an environment conducive to trees and raising kids in a safe environment. I said this for years. I told them again what well, they said. Well, we're like Hebrews, why don't we drink? I said, we can drink. We can't get drunk. And the moment you get drunk, then you violate your own divine right. You can call it a sin in Christianity or Judaism. You can call it But the moment you succumb to that intoxicant, you reduce yourself. Like break it down, break it down. From a divine view, if you read Genesis chapter uh, 9 closely, you'll see where it says he fell sometimes. He lost something. He lost his divinity. He lost his, his, his supreme being and became less than a human being. I personally, from amongst the Elohim, found counsel that voted that they put the button on this life. You understand that? I own the existence of this life. But less than three years ago, I tried before that same council to give me a chance. You understand that? And they said, you must keep them direct. You're not going to believe it. You're not going to accept it. In order for them to be picked up by a ship, by the end of 
thousand, they must be the fall. Because the person raised up 144,000 of them. Just like the members that manned the first ship was 144,000 with 24 feet. You must be lifted up. So it should have been no kids that I had isolated under the cloak of this long and in that cult that people left alone and hoped that you breathed and raised up a dollar. You smuggled in candy. You smuggled in movies. A host of demons came in and married all the brothers in the mob, including myself, and did everything they could to pull the kids into the street. Up to school. When he got exposed to rap music, when he got exposed to novels, then the ballet dancers stopped. When the Quranic and the Hitler glasses stopped. Really? That's it. That. But they had tricked us. Because we were looking for what? White death. Blonde hair, blue eyed death. And we listened to the way the Angolai Muhammad taught it, and the way Nova Dua Ali taught it, and taught it the same way. And both of them missed the black death. That was in their own midst. Because the death of Malcolm X, they found out his black God was his right hand body God and gave him mouth to mouth resuscitation that could have been the result of his death. Everybody knows the man was full of wounds. It's not supposed to be mouth to mouth resuscitation. If you're a police officer, you've been trained for that. But he was a black man. You go back and check the Malcolm X story and he was named everything. In the nation of Islam, they found out. But in the FOI, they were next to the Supreme Captain, Reverend Sharif. Right? Yeah, they were black death. They were in called them devil, they called them traitors then. And that's the time. Five. They had all kinds of names for them. Amongst the Sunni Muslims, they found that they had been infiltrated by black death. The Black Panthers, the Young Lord, the African Pioneer Movement of the 60s. For the revolution that was put out of the 50s, they found out that some of their leaders that are walking out today leading this kind of group today and still stop in the sky. I wonder right there right now, you see the head of a big black revolutionary movement that had burned, burned, burned that black ground. Now he's some Muhammad al Amin of some big Islamic group that sets out to kill people huh, in the name of Allah and call that Right. That's black death. Ron Kareem, Leroy Jones, Sophie Carmichael, Andrew Davis, Huey P. Newton, Albert Cleaver, what's some of the others? Bobby Field. Come to find out the brothers and sisters that were leading the revolution in the 60s are still alive. Are still alive and walking the streets. Please, some of the leaders try to stop new organizations, like Leroy Jones and Sonny Compton, the father of the Luther Compton, those are black devils that undermine Marcus Garvey, set Marcus Garvey up. Those are black devils that set Noah Duali up. Those are black devils that set Muhammad up. And for you five or seven, it's only paying cents. Those black devils are the ones who assassinated Clarence Sir Jeanette. We're so busy calling the white man the devil. Building our American clocks on that. We're forgetting we're surrounded by that. Like Come on, tell me about it. The only time you call the devil is when you go to try to get your driver's license and you're in a line and this one old black woman goes out of her way to make your day miserable. Or you're in a welfare office with a social worker, or it's a parole officer, or a few cops come to your house and a black man is spending so much time trying to go, let's look at his bed, let's look at the man, why is saying, come on, this is the wrong place, well, let's check it anyway, you know. When you wrote those things off, and what you call those people? Angry Negroes, mad Negroes, Uncle like Tom. Like right? But you never called them. Black devil, because you never want to admit that there was a such thing as a black devil, because then you had to start questioning your own nature. You understand that? Now we know there's black devils in here right now. They're not sitting here to defend you. You are. To 
ridiculous divine information to make a link back to your ill you know, father and mother's part in heaven. Yeah, I tell you, you break it in there hoping they can crack it. And we'll have to read the book written by a white man on science and come back and ask me some stupid scientific questions about subjects in your century, and I come from almost a hundred centuries ahead of you. And all the time, you are not going to be able to cook, clap, or catch me in any of your little stretches, just like they could be took, trap, or catch tremendous Jesus 2000 years. So he made a fool out of his gun. And every time you try, like your little stupid cult book, I'm going to ruin your name, though. You really think I'm a Muslim? You really think I care about Islam and his words are going to talk about? You're making a point. That's not who I am. That's my cover to get the truth to my people. I'm not following the white Arabs. 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 I'm not following Pass a little beat to my finger because I believe in this human Buddhist tradition. You connect me back to the Islam. Don't make me mad. I tell you about yourself. So you let some fool rely on somebody to write a book about me. I had to stop what I was doing, which is addressing the Jesus story and address you. You try to stop now. I wrote a book called Sending 60 Questions. That's the fool you want to do. You haven't been able to answer questions. Don't you wish you could let me alone? I want the policy to make it a not because I really believe Master Brahma and I don't care about it. I knew he had a blood fight and I know his blood fight. So I know what he was. But I don't want to put the pictures out and nobody else has. And he don't smile and don't look. Had his blood fight and shake out where he really came from. Don't play with me. But no, I put the policy out and tell me nice and y'all. Listen, I told me lying on this thing. He's talking about blind or I'm not going to sign, so I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to be like, in his dream, he said, I am, I'm sorry, they're going about it, you got people, they're not drinking, they're not smoking, they're not out there cussing and trying to hurt each other, at least they're trying to do something for themselves as a people, get up on that little racism and stuff, and you'll be all right, let's move on, watch out for the black devils inside here, stop lying all the way, folks, because some of them are better than the niggas you got sitting next to you, that's the truth, the truth, let's move on. No, a couple of fools. Now, that's how I never had questions. You're smart enough to leave alone. You're jealous of that. But some of the fools, really? Very long apologize. That means you're kidding right in that. That's what you said. I thought you said a long time ago that there was Jesus on. Now, in the apology, you said So you forced me to put a film out and superimpose the faces on top of each other. Now, I wouldn't have done that. I was leaving you alone. I was going about my business. I was not going to take a fly and try and destroy a black nation and make myself look good. I was saying humbly, I'm sorry for attacking this black nation. We shouldn't do that. We need to stay as close as we can about our facts. I don't care what Farrakhan believes. I don't care what Farrakhan feels in his heart. I do care what they teach other black children and other white children and other Latino children and other all Latin children. I do care what they teach the children on the planet Earth. But I will leave you alone because I'm watching you close to see how you take it. And what path to take it ain't dangerous yet. I mean, they'll find their way here in due time. It's better there than send them up to the Sunni worship, worship in Egyptian or the Saudi Arabian or the Mediterranean. Being changed into homo, that was better. No, but some fools who don't know how to leave stuff alone got to come back out and ask me a question that I'm perfectly trying to avoid. You follow? So now, you follow the video, you know what I mean? That's right, or well, you know what I mean. And superimpose the faces so you can see that for God, for Wallace D. Farage, and all of you are the same man. You can't get around to and told the human face if you deny it. The lips, the eyes are here, and everything matches up. And I didn't say anything after that. I'm willing to get to leave you alone. Stop trying to interfere with my mission. And then, my mission. I can stand in front of any one of those minutes and stay in the heart just in five minutes. And ain't not one of you come out there standing against me. You can send out some nuts from your congregation and say she's heavy, and I won't waste my time. I'll send one of my sons. But if you got somebody from the top who wants to talk from Dr. Ben and Sarah about one on one, let me send you some, some subsidiary so you can have an excuse for saying, What do you say? You leave a mug, you leave with me too long, he won't come back. And you got to hear it up, so you'll see where the truth is. They can't see that. They're caught up in God.
Where do you really think Jesus came from? Do you think Jesus was merely a man or a God? Or a man God? Was he one of one or one of many? If you'd like to know the truth, then listen to the truth. Whether on a videotape or a cassette tape or in a pamphlet, as distributed by the Holy Tabernacle Ministry. I 
Now I'm going to come and bring you all kind of mad and sick, and I'll talk so good in my heart. Because you can go weak, because I know you won't believe anything I say. Because my breath is too cold. So I'm living. I have to be white here for you. And you'll be white amongst us people to me. To be sensible to do about that day. The rapture is real, and it's near. You got to be prepared for it. Next question is always, how do we prepare for it? The answer is quite simple. Come and see. Stop lying. Stop fearing. Stop being a warmonger, murderer, a liar, and seeing the book of Revelation. And once you have taken up the 144,000 of you, 12 ships are going to come. It's out of that mother ship that can hold 50,000 of you. And they will take you on the ship to groom you for a thousand years, which could be one day. For a thousand years. Then, they are going to send forth, forth a host of beings with a king, a literal king. And they are going to grab the child that was born in June 6, 1966 in the Coda House, who was protected by Germany. Why was he protected by Germany in Belgium? Does anybody know? That's where the most powerful bank in the world was. Swiss bank accounts, German money. Germany is one of the richest countries in the world. So they built the computer there, and all the presidents and all the diplomats who want to go into the court of this child called Damien or Satan could investigate through Swiss bank accounts, which no government can touch. So nobody knows how much each president was investing in this one world. One thing to show up, the military of one world in the world that he set up was the cost. The United Nations sent a military. NATO, a new army of all our nationalities, fighting. They're over there right now in Bosnia. They're over there in Somalia. They're over there in Iraq. They're over in Kuwait. The new army. America's in it. Russia's in it. France is in it. Who else is in it? Canada, Germany, Pakistan, Nigeria. All of these demons have come together. Black, white, oriental, Latino, nothing, no difference. Seven from all colors, shapes, and sizes. Speaking every language, every minute. That's your favorite thing, isn't it? That's been set up. Now I'm getting right to all the doctors. This is where we're at. The power has been set up. One world has been placed. Now they just say a thing. We're going into a country and we're going to take it. Our first step is revelation. Nobody better not buy or sell that that country who does not live under the mark of the beast. What are they going to say? Sanctions. When they say you cannot sell to the rock, and the rock can't buy from nobody. Revelation. They did it in Somalia. They did it in Sudan. They didn't get ready to lift it in Cuba. They didn't get ready to lift it with the Palestinians. Because you have to hide the fact that I told you a year ago when you had that same class, I said, watch him change. They are not. Well, he had that same guy. He's the only one that they say about that same guy. And I'm going to tell him he had one of them kids. I said, that's the end of Yasser Arafat, and that's the end of the PLO. When he comes out of the hospital, he's going to be a dark child person. But they know how to remove portions of the brain, but they remove from you the thousand brain, which is in the region of the brain called the hypocampus area, and it's in the cerebellum. And it's cut off your four higher senses, so you know one who contact with the PLO. Six thousand years ago. That's a long time, huh? Cut off your divinity. Well, they do that. Now they, they simply call it lobotomy. The biotomy gland to your appendix and to your tonsil. Vibration, goodness, iron, oil, open you up. They open your head up. In the story of the removal of the rib, why did they remove the rib? They didn't have to remove a rib. A man has 24 rib bones, and a woman has 24 rib bones, and it's very clear that the scientific fact that don't tell me it's that. But they were grown up, not kids. They removed the bone. Because the blood is formed in the bones. The mouth. So they know they there and find the purest blood for perfect generation, a perfect genealogy.
God into your DNA and your RNA. That's why we use the word rape. <laughs> and it gets out of Adam's blood or Bacchus' blood or the marrow of his bone and inject it into this. Make the way he for the table. At the same time, the guy, the great scientist, opened it in and went down in the grave and pulled out the brain from a lower part of the front of the brain. The devil has had this thing by a second place. The water is now poisoned. The East Coast, as I prophesied, is starting to go under. Every year, something new is happening on the East Coast. Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, to West Virginia, last year was New York. The East Coast is gone. Everything I predicted in, in the book they said it has or will. It has your earthquake in California. So no one believes you until it happens, have you call me. I thought you said it was going to be earthquake. Why are you on the phone? It was happening on television. Right now, that's right. True, and this is true. That's it. That's it. It's funny, you know, it's funny to me because if I was right, I believe it. Anyway, brother, I'm moving everything I say, you got to tell you and try to figure it out. So the ship that comes to you will take you for that 1,000 years. Or then you will come back as king of kings, masters of masters, they call it the Lord of Lords. You will be groomed. They will replace the glance. Your eyes will be opened. You will become like one eye again. You will come back and you will become a God as evil king. And when you come back to the ship, what's going to happen is the devil, who we only can bind you to change in hell, will be let out of his prison cell with us and come back to unite all the people again. You understand that? And then they're going to set out the God of the spring. And when he goes to climb the mount, they call it, right of the Holy One, the elders will shoot from the ship, fire from the sky, and destroy them, they kill. Yeah, we do have 